Hey ho everyone, Soden here. And this is my Tex Murphy testimonial. It's not the first, but there's no doubt that it won't be the last. I got into the game a little late with Under a Killing Moon. There's a local store here in Fort Worth, Texas that lets you rent video games over the weekend, and the guy behind the counter recommended this game to me. Well, I played it over that weekend and I had to own that game. And I ended up buying all of three Tex Murphy CD-ROM games and the Under a Killing Moon mo novel. What got me hooked on these games are really three things. One is the world that you're put in. The 3D graphics gives you a 360 view of every room in the game, and as a visual person and as a visual storyteller, that really caught my attention. The other thing about it was the puzzles and the gameplay. See, I was a big fan of the Myth series, and the Tex Murphy games had their own style to that very same concept. And the final reason that's kept me going for all of these years is the story and the characters. I loved all the stories from all three games of uh, the Tex Murphy series, especially Pandora's Directive that gives you three different paths with at least seven different endings. And I fell in love with every character on Chandler Avenue because they were written so well that they just popped right off the screen. And then of course there's Tex. Uh, he has all the charm and charisma that nailed the neo-noir uh, style in a futuristic setting. Uh, my friends and I, we, we, would, we would laugh for hours on end over Texas one-liners. So in case you guys don't know, the creators of Tex Murphy are going to be starting a Kickstarter page on May 15th. This is so that they can raise money to make a the first Tex Murphy game in over 10 years. I'm devoting my pledge to do whatever I can to try and make it a success, and I hope that you will too. Click on the uh, click the Let's Play at the very end of this uh, video in the link bubble uh, to get its feel for what the Tex Murphy games are, and then also click on the link bubble for the uh, Kickstarter page whenever it opens on May 15th, so that you guys can find out where to do your part, or you can find it in the crotch bar below. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.